beautiful sunrise over Manchester. Down by the Iron Bridge we kissed and now uh, I ended up with sore lips. It just wasn't like the old days anymore. Hey look what's it get? <laughs> Well, good morning everybody. It's incredibly early and as the sun rises over Manchester, I'm here to show you Morrissey's old house. So yeah, I'll do a little voiceover for this. This is Morrissey's home. It said he moved in around 1969, some people say 1970, and I can't actually find when he left. Um, but the house was sold in 1991, so easily by then the smiths were pretty big time long before then they disbanded long before then um it's also the house where johnny marr in 1982 knocked on that front door to ask morrissey to join a band or form a band um they had met in the apollo in manchester at a patty smith gig um and now i'll take you to the iron bridge um I don't think I say anything too interesting, so I'll talk over myself. Um, the Iron Bridge Morrissey would have crossed um, because his school was the other side. Um, I don't know if I keep it in, but I do walk the other side of the bridge where the school would have been, but it's been demolished for the housing estate. That's there now. But this is the Iron Bridge immortalised in the song Still Ill. Um, I filmed this a long time ago. Um, and I had an article about the home and it was quite interesting reading about the lady that moved in after Morrissey had left and he was saying how she still got letters, fan mail sent <laughs> to the house although she had nothing to do with Morrissey but I can't find the article so I can't elaborate any further um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this if you do, give it a like I there's quite a few Smiths locations in Manchester um, at least I just didn't have time to do on this trip, but I am often in the area, so if you do want to see them, just let me know. I take you to look at the graffiti. And then I think I focus on this little boy who I think passed away, bless his heart. Um, knife crime in Britain is a huge issue. Um, don't be a fool. Um... I will leave you with my talking at the bridge. Um, but yeah, comment if you want me to do any more Smiths locations. I think most people that are into British guitar music have a Smiths period. And I do think Morrissey is one of the greatest lyricists ever. He divides opinion so much. But I just think he has some of the best lines and lyrics and the Smiths are just genius and they were a hell of a band and I hope you enjoy this little trip to the bridge. Have a nice day everyone, bye. I was meant to talk for a little bit longer so I'm back. A sign of a great artist, those great bands are when you've listened to them, you've heard stuff and then you rehear a song and you fall in love with it, although you never did. Little Man What Now by Morrissey, I absolutely love it the minute. Back to me. On the bridge. What would you write? I thought that was Walter White, but I don't think it is. So, the first Smiths album, the one where he probably wrote the lyrics around here, um, they're my favourite Morrissey lyrics. Um, as a 37 year old man, I can't quite relate to him like I could when I was 16, but still. Still a good throwback music, not throwback. I love this mess, it sounds like I don't listen to him anymore when I do. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, back to the old house. They've got a, apart from there is a light that never goes out. 
over the Iron Bridge recast. No, people come here and have a kiss, isn't that quite cute? Um, apart from there is a light that never goes out, there's not really the same continuing songs. We see the train. So I don't know uh, what this was like in the 80s. I would have said on the the voiceover when he lived here. I think he left when he was 24. So it would have been the 80s. Um, this joke isn't funny anymore. It's too close to home and too near the bone. Um, did I ever tell you whether I never did quite like your face? So great. Eric. He's very quotable. Um, so I don't know if the, the tram line is here or is it a train line back in the 80s um, but this is Old Trafford Stratford area so his local train tram would have been Old Trafford Old Trafford the cricket and the football ground I imagine you might be able to see them over there. Somewhere you can't quite see them, can you? The devil will find Hyatt. Work for idle hands to do. I don't know if that's his lyric. I appreciate it's in a song, but. Big Mouth Tracks again, that's the first one for Big Mouth. In my head that's one of the biggest Smith songs. There is a light, I think that's a common one isn't it? It's my favourite. And if people stare, then people stare. I really don't know and I really don't care. Some great lines, honey. So yeah, this is where he would have passed under the iron bridge because my Smith's lyric or maybe my Smith's lyric of the day or the one I think of often is I dreamt about you last night and I fell out of bed twice <laughs> I absolutely love that line <laughs> you can pin and mount me like a butterfly but take me to the haven of your bed is something that you never said that first album, so many lines. Um, <clears throat> show you where the other half of the bridge comes out, but not particularly interesting. And while well, it's still quite dark, you're not going to see much. That one was written less than two weeks ago. Hello. I am. Um, I don't think anybody quite. Um, encapsulated the uh, confusion of a teenager stroke early uh, young adult quite like Morrissey did didn't they oh there it is I dreamt about you last night and I fell out of bed twice you can pin and mount me like a butterfly probably the one I would uh, my favourite Morrissey lyric Not a Morrissey quote. Car 
power mod. Morning. Train was going to Altrincham. This is where Johnny Marr lived on the Smith side. What a fitting way to end. Have a great day. <laughs>